guys, welcome back to a new video. So in today's video, we're gonna hop back on the CH150. We've got a lot of stuff to do. I need to reinstall the cooling system, reinstall the electrical, put the body panels back on. Oh, also, we're gonna try to fix the flip-up headlight to make sure that works. And we're gonna do a little bit of reviving using some metal rescue on the gas tank because it's a little bit corroded on the inside since it's been sitting. So yeah, guys, we got a lot of stuff to get done. I hope you all enjoy and let's go ahead and get to work. And for those wondering, yes, there is a cotter pin holding my glasses together. <laughs> Welcome back. All right, so I have done a lot of work on the CH-150, and I think we're to a point now where we might be able to try to start this thing for the first time. Well, not really the first time, but the first time since it's been put all back together. Um, so let me take you around the scooter, show you what we've done, and uh, then we'll put some gas in the gas tank, and fingers crossed, hopefully it'll start up. All right, guys, here she is. Now, Obviously, it is not 100% complete, but I do have a couple of things on there just because I wanted to test out a lot of stuff and get some things out of the way. Um, but the main thing here is that everything is wired up. We got the battery hooked up. All of the wiring in this bike, I think, is connected properly. Uh, I didn't videotape all the work that I did on this just because it was a little bit repetitive and kind of boring stuff. But before we actually start the scooter, uh, we need to check all of the electronics, the switches and all that good stuff. So I've got the dash set up over here with all the wiring up to it. Now we're not gonna be using this dash. Uh, we are gonna be running a naked bar setup as you see here, but I wanna make sure that everything still works because we are gonna be pulling from those, uh, I guess those inputs and outputs to that particular dash. So uh, I wanna make sure everything still works. So I'm gonna set you all up so you can see everything. Oh, also, we're gonna test the uh, the flip up light, <laughs> which is uh, pretty much the coolest thing about this scooter in my opinion, but. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I captured it on film, but I did actually get a OEM uh, ignition switch for this bike. So, um, Hopefully it works all well, everything looked good, and it came off of a working bike, so I guess we will see. All right guys, I hope that is a good enough view for you. Let's see what happens here. Um, so right now, key is out of the ignition. Uh, let's go ahead and turn on the power. <laughs> all right, so the uh, headlight seems to come up and turn on, which is good. A little, uh, a little loud to close there, but hey, it looks like it's working. Cool. Oh, awesome, it looks like our dash is all lighting up and everything too. Let me take you all over there so you can see that. Man, it's super faint, uh, but you can see a little bit of the backlight. Let me turn off the light so you all can see. Don't trip over anything. <laughs> All right, so as you can see, uh, the backlight is kind of working. Um, the speedometer, <laughs> let me just take you into this. The speedometer's there, but man, it is very dim. I don't know if I've got a bad ground or maybe this is just uh, how this dash is. Maybe that uh, particular speedometer is just starting to fail. Uh, but we do have some lights here. Looks like we got fuel, temp. Um, the voltmeter is working over there, but it's a little bit dim. Again, could be a bulb issue or something else, but uh, lights seem to be working. Let's go to the back here. All right, we also have our uh, brake light 
and the license plate light. And if I press the brake, all right, we've got a brake light too. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and keep the lights off, but right now we are gonna test out the turn signals. So over on this side, let's try our left ones. Cool, it's got a little, okay. All right, all right, seems to be working, that's cool. Uh, what about the other one? Uh, seems to kind of work, okay. And then the rear turn signals, there's one flashing. And there's the other one flashing. Okay, cool. Now I don't have them actually plugged up right, but they do seem to be working. So, so far so good on all the electrical stuff. Oh, of course, we gotta test the horn too. Sweet. So I think that is all of the electrical here. Uh, now let's add a little bit of gas, fingers crossed, and let's try to start this thing. Okay. Be careful to not get gas everywhere. Careful. Also, one last thing I wanted to mention. Uh, we do have oil in the engine, but we do not have the muffler on, so it's gonna be extremely loud. Extremely loud, right? <laughs> so everybody get ready. If it works, I don't even know if it's going to work. Um, okay, key on. Okay, run switch on. Blip the starter. Oh, oh I got to press the... Got to press the brake. Come on, Brandon. Wow. Okay. All right, I'm gonna hold it a little longer now. Hmm. Don't know if I'm getting any fuel. Why am I not getting fuel? Oh wait, I do have a little bit, okay. There, wait, there's fuel in it. Try her again. Oh, damn. Uh, okay, I don't see any leaks yet. Come on, man. Give a little bit of a blip of a throttle. Damn. All right, let's troubleshoot a little bit. Okay, so uh, the throttle was a little tight, so I'm thinking that maybe it was kind of keeping the uh, the little butterfly valve inside the carburetor open a little bit too much, maybe. I guess I'm just trying to choke it out. So, uh, I don't know, we'll try it and see if we hear anything else. Uh-oh. Okay, that was weird. Brake, here we go. That was a good noise, I think. Let's try it again. Hell yeah! Okay, all right. Woo! Dang, that's loud, but that is awesome. Oh my God. What? All right. All right, guys, so she started. Man, I'm, I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. 
I really didn't think that was going to happen. I thought we were going to be troubleshooting all sorts of issues here. Um, but the Chinese carburetor seems to be doing its job. Uh, I seem to be getting fuel from the tank to the carb. It did take a little bit of time. Uh, and then maybe that throttle adjustment uh, at the carburetor, I guess, helped. But uh, it started, sounded pretty good. Now, granted, I don't have an exhaust on here, uh, like I mentioned before. So it was extremely loud. Um, also, I, didn't, I don't want to run it for... Uh, really any sort of extended time because I don't want to screw up the valves in there and uh, Also, we don't have any coolant in the system yet. So we got to be super careful Because we don't want to cause any sort of damage to the engine uh, Get it too hot now. I know that would take a while, but I'm just playing it safe for right now So uh, I think I'm gonna go get some coolant and uh, we're going to try to get the exhaust on this bike, and then maybe we can try to run it a little bit longer. All right, I hope this is working through on the auto vlog setup uh, so we can take this thing out for a quick test rip before it rains. Looks like it's getting ready to rain. Um, anyway, I just wanted to show you all we are still at a nice cool temperature. Doesn't seem like there's any sort of issue there at the moment. Uh, volts, good. Looks like the battery's charging the way it's supposed to. Fuel, uh, don't know if that's working or not. Probably not. But yeah, let's go for a quick test rip. Actually runs pretty decent with that uh, Chinese carburetor. All right. Oh, here we go. Damn, dude, this thing kind of is kind of quick. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Uh, well, I don't have my speedometer hooked up, so I don't know how fast we're gonna go. Dude, but it goes decent. Okay, okay. I see you, 150. Damn, dude. This thing's pretty quick <laughs> for a for a 150 cc scooter. <laughs> it's definitely no helix, but I mean, not terrible. This thing's pretty sick. Really hope I tightened all the bolts up. <laughs> okay, we'll turn around here. Yeah. I don't have all my turn signals hooked up, so really shouldn't be on the road, but you gotta do a little test run, right? Dude, it's 
it's not bogging or anything. This is actually pretty sick. Dang, dude. I was definitely going 25 there. For sure. Not a mile per hour over, 25 on the nose. I would tell you on the speedometer, but it's not working at the moment. Oh, dude, I bet you could do wheelies in this thing. Honestly, this thing is freaking smooth. Dude, I'm feeling pretty good, man. This is, uh, I mean, I don't know if I need to play with the carburetor some more. I guess our spark plugs will tell us that. Uh, but everything seems to be working pretty freaking well on this thing. Uh, I'm feeling good about it. Oh, geez. Hit that a little slow. Oh, yeah, bub. And we're still ice cold. All right, guys. So that about does it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. This is where we stand with the CH-150. I think in the next video, we're going to be finishing it up. I'm going to be painting the panels, remounting the panels, all that good stuff, uh, getting it back on the scooter. And then uh, I think we can call it. Uh, for this particular project. Of course, we're gonna have to jump through a couple of hoops to make sure that we get this thing legal for the road, uh, but that's gonna be a whole separate ball game. I just wanna make sure I get this back to riding condition uh, and everything works on it and all that good stuff, and we are so close to being done. And now that the CH-150 is coming to a close, we are going to introduce another project to the channel. Guys, this one is going to be something special. Uh, it's a super hard to find. Uh, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about it right now. That's going to be in the next video. Um, so I'll be looking for that here soon. But with all that being said, thanks for tuning in and watching this video all the way to the end. If you want any updates on when I post videos on any of the projects here in the channel, please consider pressing that subscribe button below and ticking the little bell notification to be notified when I do post content to the channel. Stay tuned for more project videos, and until next time, I'll see you later.